Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. It's uh, weather in five, five days, five minutes on what's going to be a fairly busy weather day. We've got a moderate risk of severe weather uh, for areas from northeast Texas, uh, southeast Oklahoma, southern half of Arkansas, northern half of Louisiana, and northwest Mississippi, the Storm Prediction Center has actually expanded this area from yesterday with slight risk going up uh, into southern Missouri. You just don't see moderate risk that often, even during the severe storm season. Uh, to see it in January is pretty impressive here. There was a tornado uh, outbreak in January in the southeastern U.S. three years ago, and uh, that produced uh, t over 20 tornadoes. Uh, and I think this uh, system for uh, today is going to produce a widespread outbreak uh, late this afternoon and into tonight. And of course, it's all part of the of, uh, of the process of playing into the big warm-up that we're seeing here uh, that's coming into well, our area for the weekend. Take a look at the uh, watches and warnings that are up. Uh, you've got... Uh, flash flood watches up from northeast Texas all the way up into northwest Ohio. Winter storm warnings from uh, southwestern uh, Michigan, southwest into Kansas. And a lot of this is going to be uh, significant icing. Winter weather advisories are up for northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. And this is ahead of of the, uh, the weekend. Actually, those are winter storm watches that are up for northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. I stand corrected. That is uh, because they're going to see some significant icing out of, out of all of this. And here we go for us. As I said, we're going to be running up for the possibility of some record highs. So there's the uh, icing forecast uh, from uh, where some areas are going to wind up with a half to three quarters of an inch of ice and maybe even some isolated areas getting uh, as much as one inch of ice accumulation uh, in and around the Great Lakes, uh, near and north and west of Chicago, up to, Milwaukee, to uh, Milwaukee and Grand Rapids, and also upstate New York, and then on up into uh, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and over into Maine. Now, uh, as far as uh, our weather is concerned, uh, we are uh, taking a look here at the uh, water vapor imagery loop. And we've got uh, the uh, moisture moving up the eastern seaboard. Today's kind of a transition day as we move over from the uh, cold shot of air from yesterday to a what much more a much warmer air mass. And so we've got to play through some of these high clouds. That's the one thing about this warm-up that we're going to have to deal with is the fact that there will be clouds in the way today and also for tomorrow. But there are some breaks in there too. So the sun, I think, at least will make an attempt as we take our temperatures up uh, into uh, the 50s uh, for today. And here's the, uh, the surface map, uh, that uh, the latest surface map, if it loads. And uh, there you can see the beginnings of the low down in West Texas. If you take a look at what's going on down here, I mean, we're talking a really impressive surge of tropical air with dew points climbing up into the 60s. And of course, here in the east, uh, our high is now offshore and we've got this southwest flow and things are going to warm up uh, quite nicely. So let's take you through the weekend and uh, maybe if we got a, an extra minute or so, we'll um, do a little long term here. The... Um, amount of rain we're going to get here in in uh, from northeast Virginia to southern New England is really going to be confined mainly to Saturday night. So I think much of the time from here on is going to be dry. Uh, here's our um, our surface map uh, for uh, last night. I'm just sorry, got to freshen this up. There we go. So we've got these showers that are running up uh, at the moment from Missouri to western New York. I think they stay away today from northeast Virginia to southern New England, and our temperatures should make it up into the upper 40s to some mid-50s. And here comes your main low, your severe weather across the south, your snow and ice uh, in the middle Mississippi Valley to the Great Lakes, and that low runs into northwest Ohio. Here in the east, it's all about this big high that is off the east coast and the uh, southwest flow that is running ahead of it. It's very cold. Uh, air that's on the other side of that that you're seeing uh, being played out in that narrow strip of uh, snow and ice in the upper Midwest and in northern Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Saturday night, we get some showers and storms. Sunday, it turns 
uh, uh, drier, and I think Sunday could be just as warm. We might be uh, up in the 60s again, maybe even could push 70 if we can break out into some sun in some places before it starts to turn cooler uh, into Monday and Tuesday of next week, and then we'll set up maybe for some rain or showers here uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. Perhaps it might be some snow as you head up to the north in upstate New York. Long range, uh, we've been um, talking about the fact that the, uh, it looks like the weather pattern is going to be changing uh, later next week. Uh, we are finally going to be getting rid of this very deep trough in the west and the strong upper high in the east. And that is going to carry us through uh, into the last 10 days or so of the month of January. And we have a much colder flow setting up in the longer term. Doesn't mean it's going to be cold every waking minute. But it is going to be a, a different pattern from what we are in now. Whether that means that there'll be opportunities for snow chances, I suspect that there probably will be. But in terms of anything specific, there really isn't anything uh, I can I can point to at this stage of the game. So uh, looking at high temperatures, uh, I think Saturday is the big day, folks. If you take a look at the numbers for Saturday, uh, we're looking at uh, readings that are going to be uh, generally up into the 60s, just about uh, everywhere from northeast Virginia to southern New England. You start to get to upper 60s and low 70s as you move further south. And Sunday, uh, and on Sunday, which may wind up being a little bit better because we'll probably have a bit more in the way of sun, leftover 60s up into uh, southern Massachusetts and slightly cooler air as you go to the north and west. So uh, that uh, takes us through the weekend. Not the worst weekend in the world, but um, not the best either in terms of uh, sky conditions since we're going to have to deal with clouds and some showers, uh, showers and maybe even a thunderstorm Saturday night. So uh, that uh, kind of gives you a brief idea of what's happening this morning. Again, that severe weather in the Gulf states is going, going to be front and center today and also tomorrow as it shifts further to the east. And uh, we're just going to sit back here from northeast Virginia to southern New England and enjoy, and enjoy the warmer temperatures that are on the way for today, for Saturday, and for Sunday. Don't forget tonight, 7 o'clock, the Joe and Joe Weather Show on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, Joe Chaffee, which you can watch on the free weather app, the meteorologist Joe Chaffee weather app. So download it today if you haven't already on Google Play or on the App Store. Have a great day.